Welcome to this iChannel overview on getting to know the iChannel portal. Before you can begin using the iChannel portal, your firm representative will define your username and password in the iChannel application. You will receive an email in your email inbox that will contain your credentials for logging into the portal. It is recommended that you do save the link to the iChannel portal in your favorites for quick and easy access every time you access the iChannel portal. Microsoft Two-Factor Authentication. Your iChannel portal is now enabled with two-factor authentication, or more commonly known as 2FA. With 2FA, your portal is now enabled with an additional electronic authentication method to grant you access to your portal. 2FA gives you, the client, the added security of knowing that your most valuable information is safe. Let's take a moment to see 2FA in action. Now, when logging into your portal, your first authentication will be to enter your user ID and password then click Login. A new pop-up window will appear with the following message. Enter the code sent to your email. This is the multi-factor authentication process, or 2FA. Next, you will receive an email with the two-factor authentication code. Next, return back to the portal login page and enter the code that was provided. The system will successfully log you in with the matching of the code. Note, if your firm has not enabled 2FA, please follow the instructions on the next slide to learn how to log in to your iChannel portal without 2FA. Once you open a browser window and enter the portal URL address, the first thing you will need to do is to enter your portal user ID. In most cases, your firm representative will set this to your email address. Next, from the Portal is Ready email link, you will receive a temporary password. Simply enter that temporary password into the second field, which is the password field. Then click the Login button. If for any reason you have forgotten your password, just click the Forgot Password link, and you will be given an opportunity to reset your password. Additionally, if you would like to watch a video on the iChannel portal in greater detail, you can click the green button called Video Get Started with iChannel. The very first time you log into the iChannel portal, a new client will receive the terms and conditions from their firm representative. Your firm representative does ask that you review and acknowledge the terms of agreement to use the portal. By simply checking the I agree to the terms and conditions and then clicking the agree button, you have electronically accepted the terms and agreement by your firm representative. If for any reason you'd like to print out a copy of your terms of agreement, just click the print button. Once logged in, the first page that will appear is the iChannel portal homepage or the dashboard. From here, you can select many of the key features and tools on using the iChannel portal. Click a movie reel icon to learn more about a dedicated feature or tool in the iChannel portal. If you are being granted access to more than one site to upload, submit, or to return requested files to your firm representative, your firm representative will configure your iChannel portal with access to all additional sites in the selected sites area. In this example, my firm representative has configured my portal to have access to two sites the one to two sites indicator. Click the indicator and the selected sites window will appear. In this scenario, you can see I have two sites that I manage for my files upload or receipts I may return back to my client representative. To quickly navigate between sites, just click on a site. It will highlight as you can see here in blue and then load that site. That then will update your, that you manage your files with. To quickly return back to your other site, just click on the Selected Sites 1 of 2 button. Go ahead and select the uh, other site you'd like to navigate to and click the Load Sites. You do have an additional feature if you'd like to load both sites to manage all of your files and receipts that you might be uploading back to your firm representative. You can go ahead and select all sites. Your iChannel profile is located under the My Profile button. From here, you can manage your subscriber information, that is your iChannel portal user ID and password information. 
You also can set up your forgot password questions when and if you need to reset your password if you have forgotten your password. Once you make any changes, just click the Save button. If for any reason you'd like to receive additional help on using the iChannel portal, just click on the Help icon. This will navigate you over to a Contact Us page where you can enter your name, email address, and phone number and send a message to your iChannel portal representative. When you're ready to log out of the system, just click on the Log Out button. When ready, click on the icon in the top left corner to return to the portal homepage to watch an additional movie reel. Often, you might have a file or a receipt in your inbox of your email system. Or you might have a file or files or receipts you have saved locally on your workstation, and you would like to upload these files to your firm representative. Clients can quickly upload files using the drag and drop feature to send files back to their firm representative for review and acceptance. Once you've located a file in this scenario in your workstation, just simply highlight the file, click and drag that file into any of the areas within the drag and drop files area. Once you release that file, the uploaded files window will appear. The first step is to upload to the correct site. In this scenario, I will be uploading the file to the Boca Raton Wealth Management site. If the file you are uploading is being requested by your firm representative, you'll have an opportunity to place that file into one of the requests from your firm representative. In this scenario, as the file is not requested from a firm representative, I'll leave this as blank. Additionally, each client has an opportunity to organize their files in their portal as they desire. If a client would like to manage their files and place it into a folder that the client has created themselves, they click on the Create New Folder. They would then give the folder a new name. If for any reason that the client who is uploading the files would like to send a personal email to their firm representative, they can go ahead and type in the firm representative's email address and then type a note. This field is optional and not required. Once all the fields have been filled in, then click on the Upload Files button. There will be a confirmation that the file has been uploaded successfully to the portal. The client can then see that the file is uploaded in the Submitted Files area of the portal. Additionally, clients can upload multiple files at one time into the portal. By highlighting all of the files that the client would like to upload into the portal, highlight those files first, then drag those files. As you can see here, the indicator will show that I am uploading six files in the drag and drop area. The client would then just repeat the steps as previously as if they were uploading a single file. Again, the client will receive confirmation that those files were successfully uploaded into the portal in the submitted files area. Additionally, clients can also use the search feature to narrow the files and find a file more quickly by simply typing in a few characters of a file that they're looking for and click search. All files that match the search criteria will appear on the screen. To manage any file or files that you have uploaded to your firm representative through the drag and drop files here feature, a dedicated area called Submit Files is now available for all clients. When you click the Submit Files area, the screen will update to the Submitted Files section of the portal. From here, each client can manage how they wish to view any file that they've uploaded to their firm representative. By simply turning on or off a visual indicator, a user can then could apply the filter and then see any files that might have been sent to their firm representative that are still in a pending state or files that have been accepted. Again, by simply clicking on one of the visual indicators and then clicking the apply button, the user can then and easily manage all of their files they've sent to their firm representative and see which state those files are in the review and the accepted phase. Additionally, the user can also select using the filter drop down button and selecting the chat boxes for the files. Prior to your firm representative accepting your files, each client has an opportunity to replace or delete any file that was submitted through the drag and drop feature. First, make sure you have selected the pending icon and then select apply filter. All pending files will appear on your screen. If any of these documents need to be replaced and or deleted prior to their acceptance, it is worth noting, once a file has been accepted, the user can no longer replace or delete that file. 
the user just simply needs to click on the replace button, which would allow them to upload a new file uh, for their firm representative. And again, if the user would like to delete that file prior to acceptance, all they need to do is click the delete file. Additionally, any file that you have submitted to your firm representative, if you'd like to download them any of those files, just place a check next to any of those files and then click the download button. When ready, click on the icon in the top left corner to return to the portal homepage to watch an additional movie reel. Clients now have a dedicated area to manage all files sent to you for quick and fast downloads. In the navigation area, ensure that you have clicked the file sent to you button. Any files that have been sent to you by your firm representative will appear on the screen. Users can quickly download these files by placing a check next to any file and then clicking the download button. When your firm representative sends files to you and they appear in the sent files area, your firm representative will organize those files in dedicated categories. In this example, you will see that there is dedicated categories of client, yearly tax returns, and tax. You'll also see that there is a visual indicator located to each one. The visual indicator one next to the client represents that there is one file in this case, the payroll category your file representative has sent for you for review. You can see in the yearly tax returns, there are two. One, one that is in the category of 2018 and one that's in the category of 2020. To simply look at one of those documents based on the category, just select that category and the shared files will appear on your screen in this case, from the payroll category. To view any other files that have been sent to you by your firm representative into a dedicated category, just simply click on a new category, and that file will appear on your screen. When ready, click on the icon in the top left corner to return to the portal homepage to watch an additional movie reel. Clients can quickly locate any request from their firm representative that needs their attention in a dedicated highlighted area called request that needs your attention. The visual indicator, in this case four, represents the number of outstanding requests that needs your attention. The visual indicators located in the requested files area tell you what type of request that is being requested from your firm representative. In this case here, there are three new requests from your firm representative. In addition, there has been one request that has already been uploaded by the client that the firm representative has determined to reject that file and send back to the client. Users can quickly turn on and off all visual indicators by simply clicking that visual indicator and then clicking the apply button. In this case here, there are only one visual indicator that is left, and that is called the incomplete, and there are currently no requests in an incomplete status. Again, simply turn on visual indicators. And you will see any request that is currently in a pending status in this scenario. To turn back on all visual indicators that represent the four outstanding requests, the visual indicators are new request and rejected. These three visual indicators are what make up the visual indicator of four in this scenario. If the user has an outstanding request, in this case here, there is an, a new request for the site Boca Raton Wealth Management. It is attached to an activity called S Boca Business Tax Documents, and the request is for a 1040 SR statement. It does have a date received and a due date to be returned, along with a note that the firm representative has sent to their client. To quickly upload a file based on the request, click on the Upload button. Locate that file. On the Upload Files screen, the file will be uploaded to the site, in this case, Boca Raton Wealth Management. As this request was created by your firm representative from the S Boca Business Tax Documents 1040 SR, the request field is not able to be updated or changed. Additionally, any request from your firm representative that comes through the request that needs your attention will not be able to be put into a personal folder. Additionally, you can send an email to your firm representative with any notes about the uploaded file based on the request. Just click Upload to upload the requested file. As you can see, the visual indicator now represents that there are only three outstanding requests for the client two in the new request field and one in the rejected field. Your firm representative might wish to share an announcement about key target dates 
reminders to send in monthly receipts for tax documents. When you click on the announcement button in the navigation panel, clients will navigate to the announcement and links page. From here, clients can review any announcement that their firm representative has created. In addition, your firm representative might provide helpful links in the announcement page for their clients. Simply click on a helpful link and it will navigate you to that web page. When ready, click on the icon in the top left corner to return to the portal homepage to watch an additional movie reel. Thank mm -hmm. you.